Well, we're at it again. New air conditioner. And it was just... Favorite part of any job is hitting things with the hammer. In there. All right, so the unit in question here is an old school Marine Air, which had been pretty faithful for a while, but after the third time of it burning up some wiring, it's time to go. So we're going to go ahead and get that out here, maybe, and get this shiny new unit shoved back where it came out of. Also, take a second to listen how loud this is. And we'll compare that to the new one here at the end of the video. This is it for this unit. Done. Let's rip it out. So this is not necessarily what I'd like to be doing at midnight Saturday morning but it's cool and I figured if there was going to be any time in the summer to replace the air conditioning it would be when it's cold and not 3,000 degrees outside so screw it let's get to work and it'll just be a three maybe ten cold snack job so we'll find out as we go safety first cut that power Well, to the credit of this unit, it's at least from the late 80s, early 90s, one of the vintage Marine Airs, and it's kind of run non-stop for the past year and a half, two years since I've been really spending a lot of time on the boat. It still works, but it burnt up wiring again and again, and all this wiring is bad. And I can't get the heat to work. Maybe that's just stuck with the reversing valve. But I think it's time. Um, I'm kind of worried about a fire at this point, And I just don't want that to happen, obviously. So, new unit. And I'm hoping the new unit is much quieter and a little bit more efficient for the power. So, what I'm going to do now is just kind of disconnect the vent hoses. Take off the seawater hoses disconnect some of this wiring mess and just pull some of the peripherals out of the way and see how I can get this out of this little space and there's not much room behind me with the refrigerator so that might have to move as well all right let's get to it Game on. We're free. Okay, well the further I've gotten into this, I am now very happy. I spent a lot of money to replace this. We were just on the brink of a fire. I mean, let's see if we get that to focus. Burnt, melted, uh, just not, not good. I was going to try to sell this unit for parts. I mean, because the compressor is still good. But maybe if someone totally rewired this thing, it would be salvageable. But I'm just glad I'm getting this out of the boat. <sighs> As much as I didn't want to spend $2,000 this month, but it's part of uh, my adventure living on a boat, right? Just things break and you got to replace them. It's the same as a house. Your air conditioner breaks, you got to replace it. So here we are at now 12.30 Saturday morning on June 5th. Yep. Air conditioning replacement. Old unit is ripped out. 
control box is mounted, making a new base for the unit to sit on. Just kind of placing it right now and going to get some measurements. See if I have to cut any more of that for the duct work, but making progress here. All right, back with an update here. The new unit is in place. I have the seawater inlet connected, which I had to drill a new hole for to get that to line up. And I have the seawater outlet connected right there. Now I'm going to terminate the ends for the seawater pump and the main power with some fancy heat shrink connectors and get all that done. Next up is running the remote uh, control that's going to go up there, which will be near the vent there to control the unit. And I got to get the temperature sensor in place, but we're making progress. Three o'clock in the morning, still going strong. Okay, so 5.30 in the morning and we're about wrapped up with this. All I have to do is get a better adapter for the two duct outlets, but I can do that another time. That works for right now. Wiring was really easy. All you had to do is hook up the power and the seawater pump, and that was it. Just plug those together right there. Now, the fan's on high right now, and even with that fan on high, it is still definitely quieter than the old unit. So, so far happy with that. And of course, digital controls. Okay, so high and well, medium are pretty much the same, but low. That's pretty darn quiet. You really just hear the compressor at that point. So that's nice, as well as you can just have the fan in automatic and it'll do what it needs to do. Right now I've got the temperature set for 65 and we're on our way down. So I know this video is not going to be super informative because it's the middle of the night. It's almost six o'clock in the morning, something like that. And I've been working on this for the better part of six hours, but I have to say it's pretty straightforward. It's great instructions. If you already have an existing unit, the hardest part was really getting the old unit out and then adapting some lines and uh, well, seawater lines for the new unit to fit in nicely. That was really the hardest part. Uh, otherwise, just kind of dropped in, set it down, bolted it down, hooked up some electrical wires, and that was it. So the finishing touches are really just gonna be the details and the cleanup. Have to do some duct work modification and fix this giant hole in the countertop for the smaller controller now. Let me show you that. This needs to fit just like that. We'll, we'll do something with that maybe tomorrow. Doesn't matter, it's working right now. I can do the detail work later. I've got air conditioning and we're coming down to 69 degrees. And we were blowing about 40 degrees out of there, which was great. The unit I went with today was the Wabasto FCF Platinum. It is like the mid-range or upper tier air conditioning from them. I got it right about $1,800. Not too bad, and I had most of the fittings and parts on the boat to go ahead and snip it in for the time being. I also get, like I said, some duct work modification, and I have some starboard. I'm gonna make a nice little panel to fill that hole. But other than that, I appreciate the time watching me work through the middle of the night to try to get my air conditioning back so I'm not sweating throughout the summer. And I'll see you next time.